What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today we'll be flashing the C Android Android 7.1 ROM on our OnePlus One which is basically based on CM14.1 but with a lot and lot of new pixel features. So for now here I'm running the CM14.1 ROM but yeah I will be flashing the C Android Android ROM and yeah let's have a look how it goes so basically you just have to do is go into your recovery mode and yeah you need to have a custom recovery install like a TWRP recovery or something like that and also make sure that you're on the latest version of the TWRP recovery uh, because that's like uh, really really important if you don't have it you'll probably end up in a boot loop or so uh, but yeah the ROM files and the GFs will be linked in the description below but it will be showing you how to flash it also give you the ROM impression so once you do TWRP recovery as you can see the latest one here is 3.0.2 zero uh just have to do is first of all take a full backup so if anything goes wrong basically you can reshoot it anytime so once all your device is backed up just have to do is go into wipe go into advanced wipe select the dalvik art cache system data and cache and just wipe to wipe and yeah just wait until it's done so once that's done just head on to the home uh, go into install scroll down until you see the rom and the g apps so the rom is called c android android 7.1 uh, so i have to confirm flash and again we'll wait for it until it's done so once the rom file is flashed uh, you will basically get this error over here which is normal just don't worry about that uh, so once that's done just go into install and flash the g apps as well for now here i'll be flashing the nano g apps but i could flash the stock g apps as well which will give you the pixel launcher and uh, another stuff like that so for now i'll be flashing the uh, nano g apps so once the g apps are flashed just, just go home and reboot your device and we'll just wait until it's done and we'll just see the new boot animation over here So the boot took not more than 5 minutes so what I'll be doing is I'll be setting this up real quick and I'll be right back. So after setting it up this will be the home screen that we'll be created with and this is the ROM itself. So that you can see we'll just quickly go into settings and as you can see in the settings as well we get the blue accents from the pixel uh, and android version 7.1 there you go it's no good. If we go back let us quickly check the settings and let us see what all we get in this ROM. So quickly checking out settings here as you can see we get the basic NFC stuff and things uh, going back we get the CR droid settings in which we can customize the status bar so there you go if I hit on the status bar you get the network traffic this to be displayed here so if I just uh, do this you get the network traffic over here then if I go back you can enable the ticker and stuff like that you can change the you can enable the battery bar you can change the clock style and stuff so these are all the sanogen mode features that you get over here with a few additional pixel features as well so you can mod the quick toggles as you can see uh, these are three you can you could do five you could do two and stuff you could also toggle the wi-fi so one click and the wi-fi will be toggled uh, and if you disable that it will display the list of wi-fi there we go so going down as you can see you get the bluetooth toggle the data toggle and stuff vibrate on touch there you go you have it over here then going back you get the buttons so you could enable the uh i think you could enable the on screen and off screen buttons uh let's see uh i don't see any option over here but i think it it may be in the settings uh but yeah here you can give the functionality to each and every buttons down there so that's a really neat thing as well so going into navigation here as you can see you can enable the nav bar so it will disable the off screen buttons and enable the on screen there you go you get the on screen buttons which have the pixel feel of here you don't get the animation unfortunately but yeah the feel is <laughs> like fine then i'll just disable that for now uh going down in notifications you can force expand notification all these animation mode features that you get uh, will be over here as well with some new features as i said so going down into display you can enable the ambient display so like if you get any notifications it will display it on the lock screen itself then going back yeah you get lock screen you could customize the lock screen you could also customize the power menu so you could add or remove toggles in this so if you add a screenshot and then there you go we have the screenshot toggle right over there and yep that takes the screenshot then going back in sounds uh we have all the normal volume of volume down stuff in recent menu we 
Uh, it says if the recent settings is overridden uh, so it's default we could do it full screen I don't know what it is though but let's see uh, default okay <laughs> I have no idea what this is all about but yeah, you could check it out for yourself then going uh, down into miscellaneous we get all the other settings that are not included in the settings uh, in the default settings so you could enable CPU and stuff basically this will be or these are the developer options settings that you get so yeah that's like really really easy and about CR right you this about thing over here also with the change log right over here so that's a really neat thing then going back here you get all the basic settings like display and stuff uh, the night light mode is I don't think it's here uh, no it's not here so yeah that's not that was not even expected in this ROM because it's like based on cyanogen mode and CM14.1 did not have the night light mode as well this ROM like provides us with the blue accents and stuff which CM14.1 did not provide us with so that's like a really really neat thing so yeah other than that everything's perfectly fine uh, you get the build number is NDE63X and going back into developer options uh, you get all the basic things advanced restart and stuff like that also in the display here we get the display size functionality over here which is the 7.1.1 exclusive so you could like reduce the display to smallest which will basically turn your device into a tablet kind of thing uh, but yeah I'll be leaving it on default for now there we go also again going into settings let's see what all new we get so memory we have all the normal memory stuff the apps that are started on the boot and stuff like that that's like a really really neat thing and we also have gestures which in short are moves and i don't think these are any new other than the cyanogen mode default moves yep these are all the stock moves that oneplus already had uh so yeah that's pretty much it nothing else let's see what all apps we get so we get add away audio effects all cyanogen mod apps over here gallery omni switch and stuff we c i think we could uninstall oh no we cannot uh, but yeah just download the stock g apps which also provide you with the pixel launcher so no need to flash it from outside just flash the stock g apps and you'll get all the pixel launcher pixel icons and stuff like that uh, but yeah for now that's been it guys this was the short walkthrough of the c android android 7.1 rom on r one plus one so yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in my next one.